All right, guys, so we looked at Maya and how we can actually uh, transfer the normal maps from one object to the next. <clears throat> and to be able to see that, too, you want to be able to hit the 6 key. I forgot to mention that. Um, Viewport 2.0 won't always display it completely accurate, even when you try to slide and change the amount of normal map pushing through. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's just kind of a kind of a bad refresh feature that happens but you can render it to get the true uh, vision of what you want and take a look at all your details notice mine has some lines right under the rivet actually it turns out pretty cool but for the most part you do want to keep those kind of uniform in some way and at the hard angle split your uvs i just want to mention that too so let's go to let's go to mudbox take a look here here's a guy i modeled a while back i'm in the middle of uh still tweaking out his texture but i thought he'd be a good guinea pig to d demonstrate on Mudbox's ability to also generate normal maps. Now sometimes Mudbox's <clears throat> normal maps don't come out really really great and you have to do some editing and I'll show you how to go about doing some editing where necessary. So to get this guy to uh, display we're gonna go into here and we're gonna actually create on maps we're gonna extract texture maps new operation and we can choose we can even do these uh, at multiple times like we could do displacement normal map and vector displacement all at once but in this case we're just going to do normal map now <clears throat> what we want to do for our mesh here we we'll want to be able to uh, choose our target our source mesh is the higher one right here let's add selected if we want here so let's go and uh, page down a few times we're going to page down a little bit oops in this case we'll uh, select here page down real quick and what I'm doing as I'm paging down I'm selecting the source model this guy here so with that sculpt selected we should be able to load our uh, target mesh so add selected see if he comes through nope alright so if he doesn't come through what he can do is simply go in here with him already highlighted notice I have mine highlighted I'm gonna go into my paint selection tool go to my objects selection move tools select him now that again select don't make me start my video over deselect and select him there we go yay cool a little bit of refresh issue probably because I have my open at the same time all right so we got this selected so now we add selected there we go level one and then we're gonna go up a few here so we go to page up here go to this guy normally it, it will load it automatically it looks like it, in this case it did not want to do that so with it now selected in the high res we're going to add selected here I'm going to deselect and then reselect it see if it works there we go add selected here there we go level three cool it's a little bit of refresh issue though that's fine we don't have to uh, smooth our source models so you can do that if you want to um, smoother target models is fine if we leave that on by default um, some of this we can leave on by default uh, but ray casting keep in mind ray casting uh, takes a lot longer when it comes to normal maps we're gonna do subdivision in this case because we have our subdivisions and when you set subdivisions this is the, when it really should load automatically but if it doesn't then you can do exactly what I did when you select it and then you choose through your uh, levels of detail and you just load it as you go. You can see these guys popped up real quick for us to use. So let's go and scroll down a little bit. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't lose my voice. I'm going to go 2048 in this case. You can go a little bit higher. These are now these are new settings they have for Mobox. Mobox used to have a cap off um, older versions of uh, 4096 just because it gets a little bit rougher in uh, Maya's case to deal with a higher texture resolution outside of that. Um, it doesn't say you can't but it does take a lot more memory to do so. So let's go in 4096. All right, that's it. At least scene, we're going to see eight. Um, this will take a little bit longer. Our com, um, compatibility is my software and soft homage. We want tangent space. Map type, we're going to say texture. Now P text, um, I haven't made a video on that yet, but that allows you to paint on vertices and you don't have to have the model unwrapped the only problem with that it takes up a lot of memory because it saves as you go and you can have it a huge catch which can be ridiculous um, unless you have a beast of a computer it's really sometimes not even worth it um let's go in here i'm gonna save his texture we'll call this face map save 
All right, cool. So we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and extract. Now, if you look at Maya's speed compared to Mubox, you'll notice that Mubox is a lot faster. Almost takes half the time. With the same upper settings that you have set up. Now, I turn mine. You can turn on Gaussian. I actually like Gaussian because it actually gives a little more blurry on the edges. <clears throat> You can see it going, 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 almost done. Way faster than Maya. But sometimes you do get archiving. In other words, it doesn't quite look as good as it possibly could. And you can go and fix it, and I'll show you how real quick. Super, 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 duper fast. I do like Maya's. You can just spend a little bit more time if you don't mind. There you go, it's all done. Successfully, thank you, my friend. We'll go to Photoshop real quick. Let's go and uh, move this guy around for a second. Let's go to File, Open. Should be on the desktop. Hey, face map. Now you'll see where it gets a little bit messy. See these areas? It gets a little bit roof in here. So to be able to fix these, there's a couple ways you can do it. One, you can use Endo, and you can go in here and paint on your normal maps. Another thing you can do, let's go in here and take a look. Now, so the interior of the eyes, some of that is probably coming through because I didn't separate my UVs. But right on the eye, uh, the earlobes are, are the most noticeable. It looks kind of crappy. <clears throat> what we can do, because we don't necessarily want these guys to push out, there, our scar came in perfectly. That actually came in kind of nice. So let me go and move out for a second. So I can go in here, whenever you run into these problems of cleaning stuff up, I can highlight a section. And you can highlight the other section too. Don't make it too big, otherwise you can get some weirdness. And you can go to Edit, Fill, and you can also use Content Aware. And what happens is Maya looks at the surrounding uh, images and averages it out and tries to fix it accordingly. So you can actually get rid of some of that. So even on this edge, see, we're getting uh, kind of a weird normal map seam. The neck isn't too bad, um, according to the way I've laid it out. And uh, so what we can do, it does need a little bit of work. It's kind of a sharp edge right there. But we can go in here if we want to fix the edge. And you can do this with Crazy Bump, too, if you're generating through 2D texture. I'm going to grab this edge. Well, not the perfect grab in the world that I was going for, but that's fine. We go edit, fill, and do content aware. And you can clean that up real fast. And what that does, it allows um, Photoshop to average out the difference between the normal maps there. Oh, looks like it grabbed some of the bad stuff. No, the lips got transferred. So in that case, when that happens, you can just make your selection area a little bit smaller. You'll see what I'm talking about, because it actually keeps it kind of localized. So we go in here, we'll do Content Aware again, Fill, Content Aware. There you go, just a little slight weirdness happening. Also, you can use the Patch Tool. I don't know if you guys know this guy, but this guy's freaking brilliant. So I can actually grab an area that I don't like, move this over, and then it will actually blend between them. Pretty sweet. That chin, we don't like that because he's got an irregular double chin. So I can actually move this over here and it'll average out between these two guys. It makes a nice smooth transition. <clears throat> we can do that at the top of the ears, we can do that inside of the eyes. And the reason why the weirdness is happening here is just that my interior of the eyes were still in there and I haven't separated that for this particular quick whip of uh, texture that I was working with. And uh, for the mouth, if you don't want this, I don't really want him to have that much detail in the mouth. Mainly the scar is what I'm going for. And the reason why is because I don't want it to look like he's having lipstick or anything. So we can go in here and I can average that out a little bit and blend it. And then I can paint it in Indo if I wanted to at that point. All right, so I just want to show you guys real quick how you can edit your uh, normal maps. Uh, Crazy Bump would work really well for my final texture in my box. And then I can take the rest of them into here and use uh, Fill Content Aware. All right, guys. Uh, again, my preferred method is Maya because it seems to be money every time. And it seems to work really nice. That's about it.